Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. I want you to know that there is no one who can replace you. The way you look, the way you always know what I am thinking about, the way you give me hug when I need it the most, and the way you listen to me is priceless. You have touched me more profoundly than I ever thought you could. I love you. I am so completely in love with you. I wake to think of you and I sleep to see you in my dreams. Every day seems like a blessing since I have met you. I feel so lucky and honored to be in love with you with all of my heart. Thank you for sharing your love with me. It's a truly wonderful gift. I will love you always. You were already on my mind when I woke up in this morning. Funny how I just can't stop thinking about you. Six months ago we had not even met and now you are the most important person in my life. So I just wanted to say I love you and I can't wait to see you again. Love arrives and in its train come eschatis. All memories of pleasure, ancient history of pain. Yet, if we are bold, love strikes away the chain of fear from our souls. We were weaned from our timidity in the flesh of love's light. We dare be brave and suddenly we see the love cost all we are and will ever be. Yet, it is only love which sets us free. My monkey wrench woman is my sweet potati, the lover of my life, my youth and age. My heart belongs to her and to her only. The children of my flesh are her and bear her rage. Now grown to ears advancing through the dungeons, the honeyed kiss. The lips of wine and fire fade blissfully into the distant ears of yonder, but all my days of happiness and wonder are cradled in his arms and eyes entire. They carry us under the waters of the world, out past the star posts of a distant planet, and creeping through the sea of the ocean, they tangle us with the ropes and yarn of memories where we have been together. You and I. I had not thought of violets late. The wild shy kind that spring beneath your feet is wishful April days when lovers mate and wander through the fields in rapture sweet. The thought of violets meant florist shops and bows and pins, the perfumed paper fine, and garnish lights and minching little forbs and cabrets and soaps and deadening veins. So far from sweet real things my thoughts had strayed, I had forgot wild fields and clear brown streams. The perfect loveliness that God has made, wild violet shy and heaven mountain dreams. And now unwittingly you have made me dream of violets and my soul's forgotten gleam. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.